Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. And also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say is please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone sending you a phone number, please be aware those are scammers. I will never send you a phone number for you to, for you to reach out to me or contact me. That's not me. Those are scammers. So please be careful. All right, Leo, let's start. Let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. All right, Spirit, how does this person currently feel about Leo, whoever Leo is connecting to in love? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, first card we have is the Nine of Swords. So, Leo, it looks like this person is stressed out about you. They're feeling very conflicted here. You're feeling very worried, very concerned. There's a lot that they're feeling that they're keeping to themselves. They're scared to, to communicate with you how they really feel. They don't know what to expect to happen between you two moving forward into the future. They're nervous about some kind of outcome with you or some kind of reaction from you. Let's see, what else, Spirit? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, which is an energy of communication. So, like I said, I feel like there's a lot that this person wants to say to you. But they feel like they can't say to you. They're feeling trapped for some reason. They're feeling limited. They're feeling restricted. They want to reach out to you. But they feel like they can't at the moment. I'm not sure why. Let's see what else. We have the judgment card here, which is about making a decision <laughs> so this person feels like they need to make a decision they feel pressured to make a decision <clears throat> they feel like they're running out of time <clears throat> sorry they feel like they're running out of time to to make a decision they feel like something has gone 
something has gone for too long. Something has gone on for too long. They feel like they're reaching some kind of breaking point. <clears throat> or some sort of climax. They feel like time is not on their side. Tell me more about their feelings for Leo spirit. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. This is the night of love. This is someone who wants to express their feelings for you, Leo. They want to offer you that cup of love. That ace of cups here that they're holding in their hand. This, that this knight is holding in, in his hand. Male or female, does it matter? They want to have a new beginning with you. They want to have a fresh start. I feel like this person wants um, bygones to be bygones. They want to leave in the they want to leave the past in the past. If there if there was some sort of conflict between you two, they want to move on from it. And they want you to accept them. They want you to accept them and they want you to receive their, their cup of love that they want to offer you. Okay, let's do a little clarification. Let's see if we can break down this energy a little bit more. So, Spirit, can you tell me more about this Nine of Swords? What's going on with that card? Okay, so connected to the, to the Nine of Swords, we have the Star and we have the Magician. So this person is hoping for some kind of positive outcome between you two. And that's what they're nervous about with the Nine of Swords. They're nervous that... that things will end up in, in failure between you two. They're nervous to have their, their dreams and wishes shattered in regards to you. This person wants to have positive a positive outcome they want they want success they want victory they want things to progress and to move forward between you two they're just not sure that that's a possibility they have a lot of worries and fears and concerns And I feel like their biggest fear is to is to lose you. Yeah, to lose you completely and to um, to 
to, to end up disappointed if things don't work out between you two. All right, what's the um, Eight of Wands spirit? Okay, so we do have Page of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Wands. So this person does want to have a new beginning with you, like I said, with the Ace of Wands. They feel very passionate about you. They're very attracted to you. They want to create stability with you, with the Page of Pentacles. They want to have a, a solid foundation with you. They want to have a solid friendship with you. For some of you, this is an apology. This person wants to offer you an apology. What's the judgment card, Spirit? Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups and we have the King of, or Queen of Wands, sorry. I got that light. <clears throat> this feels like your energy, Leo, with the Queen of Wands. It doesn't actually feel like their energy. Their energy feels more like the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So this person might feel like um, you're the one in control. Yeah, they might feel like, like it's up to you. Yeah, they feel like the power is in your hands. Um, you're the one who decides whether this relationship will move forward or not. And I feel like they're looking at you as the Seven of Cups. They're looking at you as someone who has options. They're looking at you as someone who's very attractive. Someone who has a lot of worth someone who's confident, someone who has many opportunities at, at your hands or in your hands. They're looking at you as someone who who doesn't necessarily need them, you know? They're looking at you as someone who, who could easily choose to be with somebody else if you wanted to. They're looking at you as someone who has a lot more to give than what they have to give. So with the judgment card, this is someone who feels like you're the one who has the final decision. You're the one who has the final word. And it's basically up to them to, to convince you of having a new beginning with them. 
and not with somebody else. It's up to them to prove themselves to you. So they feel like th they feel like you have the upper hand here. Hmm. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Cups. We have the Emperor and we have the Lovers. The Emperor and the Lovers. Hold on. Okay. So, again, this person, I feel like they're looking at you as, as the Emperor. Aries energy. We also have Gemini here. Um, we have uh, Virgo and Aquarius <clears throat> and Scorpio. So this person does feel a very intense um, physical attraction to you with the lovers. Um, they want things to, to pick, to pick up between you two. You know what? I do actually feel like their energy might be the emperor. Now that I'm looking at it here. I am getting that vibe. And I think you're looking at this emperor like you don't really trust them. Hold on. Come on, card. Let go. Queen of Wands and the emperor. I think you're the queen of wands and I think you're dealing with this emperor. I think you're looking at them like you don't trust them. You don't trust their motives. Yeah, you don't trust their intentions. You might feel like this person is a player. I haven't looked at your feelings yet, but I'm 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 kind of picking up on it. I think you're also dealing with someone who doesn't have a clear idea of what they want. They want they they know they want something to like to start between you two with the ace of wands. But they don't necessarily have a clear idea of um, what they're looking for in, in the long term. This person might not be, they might not be focused on, on the long term. They're more focused on what's happening right now in the present moment. But they don't necessarily have plans for the future. If that makes sense. They just know they want you right now, is what I'm getting. They feel attracted to you. That's the biggest energy here. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go to your feelings, Leo. And see if we can get more clarity here tell me about uh, um about leo's current feelings for this person spirit thank you so much
All right, Leo, so with you, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups, and we have the Two of Swords. It's interesting that you're showing up as a page. Didn't really expect that to happen. Hmm. So you are curious about this person. I do feel like this is you, the Page of Swords. Um, you are watching this person very closely. You're observing this person very closely. You're paying attention to everything this person does and everything this person says to you. I feel like you are looking for red flags, you know? They might seem very innocent on the outside with the Page of Cups, or they might be acting very innocent-like on the outside, but you have your doubts about that. You, you have your doubts about that. Let me confirm that, actually. Tell me about the Page of Swords, Spirit. <laughs> Yeah, Leo, you're coming up as a page. I expected you to be a, um, this Queen of Wands, actually, is what I was expecting. So I definitely feel like you are tempted by this person. This person might feel a little bit like a for forbidden love or forbidden romance but i feel like you you feel tempted i feel like you feel tempted to go against your intuition about this person yeah tell me about the page of swords <clears throat> Oh, hello, King of Wands with the Chariot card. Okay. Right. That's what I that's what I was saying I was expecting from you. I was expecting you either the Queen of Wands energy <clears throat> or the King of Wands energy, which is you know kind of the same thing. It's just that this one is masculine, that one is feminine. So it's like I said, with the, the King of Wands can be someone very intuitive, you know, someone who's very perceptive, especially combined with the Chariot card. Um, this can be an energy of someone who knows the truth or someone who can easily um, pick up on the truth, even when it's hidden from them. So I feel like you are picking up on some kind of truth from this person or like your intuition is kind of um, activated here. I don't necessarily feel like it's in a good way though because we have the two of swords here. So I feel like there is some sort of um, There is some sort of negative alert here. Some sort of red flag that you might be perceiving. And that's why you're being very cautious with this person. You're not immediately believing what they're, what they're saying to you or what they're showing to you. You have your reservations with this person. Yeah, tell me about the Page of Cups. What is uh, Leo looking at here? What's, yeah, what is Leo viewing here with the Page of Cups? Thank you, Spirit.
We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Six of Wands. So you're looking at this opportunity. That's what you see. You see an opportunity here. You're just questioning this opportunity. I do feel like you do desire to have something real with this person. But you might feel like this person is playing games with you. And like I said, I feel like you're not really trusting their motives. You want this person to respect you and you want this person to take you seriously. And you might not be clear that this person is doing that or will do that. Tell me about the Nine of Cups spirit. Okay, yeah, Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Again, you're showing up as a page. I don't like that you're showing up as a page, Leo, because I feel like you're downgrading yourself here. I feel like you, it's like you need to downgrade yourself so that you can match this person. Because it's like this person is not at your level. In, in some way, they're not at, they're not at your level. And in, in order for you to have a relationship with them, it's like, or in order for you to connect with them, you have to like bring yourself down, you know? You're dealing with someone who's not as mature as you. Someone who's not as... Um, confident and, and as secure as you are. So you are indecisive here with the Two of Pentacles if you want to continue giving this person your time and energy. Hmm. What's the Two of Swords spirit? Yeah, we have the Three of Swords and we have the Six of Pentacles. So you have been um, very disappointed in the past with the Three of Swords. I do feel like you gave your all, you gave your all to someone with the Six of Pentacles and they didn't reciprocate your efforts and your feelings. So you're very guarded here. You are protecting your heart. You don't want to go through the same pain that you went through in the past. You're interested in this person, but something is not really adding up with this person and you feel like you need to be extra careful extra cautious what is this person's intentions with leo's spirit let's see yeah currently what are this person's intentions with leo
Hmm. So I do feel like this is someone who is attached to somebody else from their past, Leo. I do feel like this person is interested in having a new beginning with you in love with the Ace of Cups. But I feel like there is some sort of heavy burden that they're, that they're carrying with the Ten of Wands and the Death card. There is some sort of heavy burden that they're carrying. Because it's like they need to make a choice between two options with the Two of Wands. And in order for, ha in order for them to have a new beginning with you, there is something that they need to let go of first. And I feel like they haven't done that yet. Okay. But we do have the Queen of Cups. So this person does feel very connected to you. Emotionally connected to you. However, like I said, I do see them also being emotionally connected to somebody else and not really feeling certain about which direction they want to go in in their life with the two of wands. Okay, um, let's see. Let's get a romance angel card here. Can I get a message for Leo spirit? In regards to this person. We have playfulness. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Playfulness. This is kind of like the pages that I was talking about, like there's a lot of pages here that showed up in your reading. Kind of a very young energy. Let's see what else, Spirit. It says, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So I feel like there is a lot of potential here. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of potential between you and this person, but I feel like this person needs to free themselves from something. Okay, so... If that happens, then I do see that things can definitely progress in a, in a positive direction between you and this person. Because I do see that there are mutual feelings here. All right, Leo, I hope this reading helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.